Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a simple web assembly application using Rust. Now, you may wonder, why would you want to use Rust when we have JavaScript? Uh, well, the aim is actually not to replace JavaScript with Rust, but to use both languages strengths to improve the web applications. As we know, JavaScript is a ma has a massive garbage collector whereas uh, Rust does not. This means that by using Rust, we can achieve a reliable uh, response time and, the code, and, as, and also the code size will be smaller. In addition, Rust also provides a low cost abstractions like C++, but unlike C++, it provides additional memory safety features. If you, if you guys want to learn more about the reasons, I highly recommend checking out their uh, documentations where they explain all the reasons in detail. Okay, let's move on with our next step. Okay, so, uh, the first step in uh, building our web application is we need to get uh, necessary tool chains. So first, we need uh, all the Rust tool chains. So that includes the Rust uh, UP, I'll make this clear. We also need uh, Rust C, and we will also need Cargo. Um, second, we need uh, Wasm Pack. Uh, you can get Wasm Pack uh, using this website. You just um, copy this and paste it on your terminal, and uh, you should have it downloaded. Um, we need the pack because it, it will be our one stop uh, for building, te building, testing, and publishing Rust generated uh, WebAssembly. Uh, another thing, another uh, toolchain we need is uh, Cargo Generate, uh, which is to, and we, we need it to, so we can leverage uh, pre existing default Git repositories to speed up the whole process of building and deploying. So to get uh, Cargo Generate, we, we're just going to type Cargo install cargo generate. Now we're just gonna let it update. Uh, I already have it installed, so it's just updating, but for you, it might be uh, downloading. But yeah, perfect. So after that, we uh, the last tool we need is NPM. You can get NPM uh, through their website. Um, I already have it installed, so yeah, so here we go. I have it installed. Now that we have all the necessary tool chains, we can move on to building the application. All right, uh, we're gonna clone a project template, which comes with the with the pre-configured uh, uh, project, just so we can quickly build, integrate, and package the code for the web. Now, to clone the project template, we're going to type uh, cargo generate. Oh git https git github.com rust awesome awesome pack template perfect so now we're gonna oh we're gonna type in the project name uh let's just say hello world perfect and new project is created. So if you look at, take a look, um, if it, we can move into the the project, so hello world, and let's check out the content of the project. So right now we have cargo Tomo license SRC. Um, we can move into SRC and we will see lib. So let's open that file since that file is where our Rust code will be stored. Sublime, uh, perfect. So um, here uh, we see uh, Wasm bind gen. So, um, so our Rust is gonna use Wasm bind gen to interface with JavaScript. Uh, what it does, it's um, this external function alert, it, it imports windows.alert JavaScript function, and uh, we can use it here. And we'll edit the greet greeting message. So we'll just say hello. How you doing? A question mark. And uh, so what happens is it's gonna import a function from JavaScript. And when uh, our project it compiles, uh, Rust is gonna export this alert into WebAssembly. So we'll just save that. 
and we'll just move back now to uh, to compile there's actually a couple couple of steps involved to build projects for WebAssembly, but luckily we have one command that does it all for us. So we're just gonna type wasm pack build and let's see what this does. So this process might take some time if, um, especially if this is the first time you're running it. Um, Okay, perfect. Um, so let's see where what the command did. So if we do ls, uh, we see that new oh, um, new folders created package. We can move into package. Uh, let me just clear so we can see better. And ls. So this is where all the artifacts are stored, and um, uh, these artifacts will be. Uh, used to communicate with uh, our um, uh, web application. These artifacts into a web, web page, uh, we're gonna run another command that will use a JavaScript project template uh, and convert all of this into a web page. So we're just gonna move out of the uh, folder and uh, we're gonna type npm init was some app www and what this is going to do once it's done yeah, so what this is going to do is it's going to create another folder called uh, www so we can go there and display the content so and now this is the javascript project template uh, we're going to modify this to invoke our um, rust generated uh, rust generated uh, um, binaries and from there on, we can launch our WebAssembly application. To do that, uh, uh, ensure we have local development server and its dependencies installed. So we're just going to run npm install. Uh, we're just going to wait. And yeah, OK, perfect. So once that's done, we can incrementally develop our project. Uh, the first thing we want to do is specify the dependencies to uh, include uh, our uh, created project so we're just going to go into um, package json which is um, right here so we're just going to say sublime package dot json okay perfect so we're gonna clear. Uh, we're going to go into package dot json and we're just going to add a dependency so Comma, oh, comma, dependencies. And we're going to say our app name, which is hello world. And we're going to add file the directory so file um, pkg perfect and that is it for this file can i edit the same directory as the package.json and it's called index.js so we're going to do sublime index.js perfect so uh, Mine's already edited, but uh, here, um, actually, we're just going to change the package name to hello world, which is our project name. And then we're going to leave this function the same. We're just going to save this. And yeah, that is it for this uh, this file as well. So now we're done modifying, uh, done with modifying our files. Uh, the last step to do is to deploy the package. Type npm install. We're just gonna run it again because we modified files. Okay, perfect. Uh, last step, npm run start. Now we can cross our fingers and hope this works. Okay, perfect. It says it's compiled successfully uh, and it's running on localhost 8080. So we can just copy this. Good. Uh, there you go. Hello, how are you doing? Perfect. 
so this part, so, so like this is just a quick tutorial on how uh, you can deploy a simple uh, web application. And this, I want to say two things. First, thank you for watching this video. Second, I know we deployed a very simple web application and it may seem overwhelming to do all these steps just to create just to create a window that uh, says hello world. But trust me, the real world applications um, of these um, these steps are endless. Um, and I also wanna point out to two resources which you can use to develop a complex web application. So the first is uh, uh, Tokyo RS. Um, you can use this uh, library to build a, um, like I said, complex and very um, reliable uh, web application. And another is u.rs, which is another library, and you can use it to build a you know, multi-threaded uh, um, web front up web apps with the WebAssembly. It's, uh, check them out, check their um, documentation out. Um, you can, the, the applications of these two libraries are endless.